So today is Tuesday. We have our easy run to do, but it's snowing outside. So <laughs> what is with this weather? Why is there snow? Anyway, so let's go get ready and head on out. This is gonna be miserable. <laughs> Just embrace it. It's kind of rain now more than snow. But anyway, let's go. Am I crazy for wearing shorts? <laughs> Oops. What? So I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the people who have been liking, commenting, subscribing to my channel. That's awesome. Um, you know, I just started this channel as a means to have a space for my creative outlet. And I'm stoked if I can inspire someone to start running or moving. So it's been lashing all day long today. And I was going to do my speed workout that I have scheduled today on the treadmill. However, I think I'm gonna try and brave it outside because if you watched my first video, you'll know that I have a really hard time with the treadmill. So <laughs> it did not work out well last time. So I'm going to brave it outside. So today's workout is 2K tempo and we have a 2K warm up and then we go into three sets of 2K at 355 with 120 second walking rest. So this is probably gonna be really hard since we have like gusts of up to 50 kilometers an hour. Right now it doesn't seem so bad, but no doubt when I'm out there, it's gonna be windy and <laughs> I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to hit this pace. But look, I'd rather be out in the rain and the wind than on that treadmill. So I'm gonna start with my warm up and then brave it outside. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we're ready, warmed up, let's go. Two weeks now training on these new shoes that I got. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention in the video <clears throat> when I bought these is that don't just buy shoes just because your friend has them or your favorite influencer has them or whatever it might be. Go to a store and try on so many shoes and see what works best for you before you buy them because everybody's feet are different and what might work for you might not work for someone else. So I typically never have an issue with New Balance shoes. Like they've always worked for me. I had bought the Hoka's just, that was me deviating from my typical brand of shoe. Cause I obviously had want to test what else was out there and they didn't work for me. They were too firm and caused me blisters. Whereas I never get blisters with New Balance. So, so go to a good running store and, you know, make sure they check it, check your feet. You can sometimes bring in your past shoes and they'll look at the soles underneath to see what kind of runner you are and then they can recommend a shoe for you. But yeah, definitely try on some shoes before you buy them. Because the last thing you want is to buy a shoe and then it doesn't work for you. I'm also not going like this. I'm going to wear like three layers. Because <laughs> yeah, it's really coming down up there. Okay, let's go. It's done. At least it seems like the wind has calmed down a bit. And it's just rain. <laughs> oh, first set, that was hard. It's hard going against the wind. Damn. That's okay. I think I got 405 or something. Two minute rest and then we go again. Seconds are done. That was actually felt much better. I guess I was into it. Or 
I'm now going with the wind. The wind was definitely going in and out. So that definitely made it harder. But anyway, let's finish our one minute cool down and then last 2K. So I'm back home now, showered from that run. Thankfully on the last set, the rain did stop. And I think I was going with the wind, which made it a little bit easier. I could feel the wind just like pushing my feet. That didn't make it any much easier to be honest, because there was also wind coming from my side. So yeah, at least the rain stopped. So the jacket I wear is this Arcteryx, like Gore-Tex shell. Um, and it's super thin, because it's just literally a Gore-Tex outer layer and super light which is nice but it retains heat very well and so the problem with this is that it's perfect when I start going out on the run and I'm not wet at all and obviously I warm up very quickly but then I end up getting too hot and yeah I was starting to overheat on this run today you can see overall I was supposed to do within the target range but I didn't quite hit 355. I did on the second set actually, which is nice, but yeah, again, with the wind and the rain, it made it very challenging today to try and hit those paces. I mean, overall, I think the run went pretty well considering the conditions outside. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So today is Friday and we have our interval workout. Short reps, drop sets. So 4K warm up, five sets of 400 meters at 325, and four reps of 300 meters at 325, three reps of 200 meters at 320, with a two kilometer cool down. The coach notes say this should be fun, but I beg to differ. No longer raining, but it does look like there's some wind, so that might make it a little bit more challenging, but let's get ready and head on out there. Now I'm on the set of four reps at 300 meters. The first set was really tough, but at least this is getting shorter. Ooh, I'm out of breath. One minute is not enough time to rest. Okay, let's go. The set of four reps at 300 meters are done. And now we go on to the set of two reps at 200 meters, but faster. That's up. Tonight, I'm going to attempt the CrossFit Open Workout number one. If anyone's familiar with CrossFit, they have what's called the Open, which is the start of their pro season. And the CrossFit Open specifically is where the whole world compete against each other. Each week for three weeks, there's going to be a workout that's released and everyone performs that workout. They have four days to complete it, upload their score, and then after three weeks, top 25% will proceed to the quarterfinals. So yeah, the first workout was released yesterday. I'm gonna attempt it tonight. So yeah, so I'm gonna just have some protein now and yeah, rest until later tonight. Let's go. So tired, like we got the road work in the warm up. I can feel it in my legs from the Finally, some gels. 
So first of all, I like the Morton gels. They're really nice because they're really easy to consume. Like they're not thick where you're like suffocating, you know, when you take it in, and especially with, since it's cold outside and your nose running, you get congested. It's like hard to breathe when you're taking a gel. But the nice thing with these, cause it's like a, it's a hydro gel. So it's definitely a lot easier to consume. But before I was using the 160 gel, which has 160 calories. I decided to go with 100 because I felt with the 160, even though I consumed it, starting to get a bit of a stitch. So, so let's see how this go. I'm so sore from yesterday's workout, from the speed workout and then the CrossFit open workout. My lower back, shoulders, everything is sore. So I'm gonna skip out on Olympic lifting and I'm just gonna do a bike ride instead. Hopefully just shake out the legs and yeah, so that we're prime and ready for tomorrow's long run. It's Sunday, which means it's today's long run, which is 26K. We're doing 13K at comfortable pace and then following 13K at a 420, 425 pace. Similar to what we did last week, we're just increasing the time that we're in our goal race pace. Just about to get ready. Um, today, I'm gonna bring some water with me just because we're now hitting a greater distance. So I think Last week, it was something that I was probably lacking, was just keeping some fluids coming in. So I'm gonna bring my vest with some water and electrolytes in it. And then I'm also gonna bring some more Morton gels. So I'm actually gonna have one now, which is about 15 minutes before I start to go for my run. And then let that sink in. And then I'm just gonna get ready, warm up, and then we're gonna head on out. We're just at 4K. It's kind of cold today. There's a nice breeze. It's kind of on and off raining, but it's nice because it's kind of keeping me cool. Now that I forgot that I have the vest on, it kind of retains heat a little bit. So I shouldn't have had the two long sleeves on, but so far so good. Just trying to make sure I start off slower because I've noticed like a like, comfortable pace is just getting too fast or I end up just starting off too fast whereas I'm trying to slow down the first comfortable pace so that I can be more consistent with the race pace okay let's go we're 6k in it's time for first jump 12k in had a little pit stop at 10k to pee and now it's time for another gel. Mmm. Delicious. Tiramisu. Visualizing. Pretending that that's what it is. Tiramisu. 13K in, and we're just starting race pace now. Let's go. Pick up the pace. I take pits off. I'm just running against the wind for the past, like, I don't know, since I started this section, I'm like 18 kilometers in and I'm just like, I'm just going against the wind and the rain and it's just miserable. Oh, I just can't breathe. Oh. So I take sh shelter under, obviously this could happen on race day where it's windy. So this is why we have to practice outside when it's miserable. But, it, my recovery is very slow lately. And this is a struggle. I'm just gonna take this gel since we're at the 18K mark, and then I'm gonna head on back out. Tiramisu. Oh, 
26k done. That was so miserable. The rain and wind just got progressively worse. But at least we got it done. I almost bailed so many times. But now, time for coffee. Good job. Thanks. So I'm back home right now after the long run and man, that was definitely the worst workout that I've done since we started this marathon training. So I had just two long sleeves on and then my vest and it was like a little bit cold and it was kind of like off and on like a little bit of rain. But as I said, it was like nice because it was kind of refreshing. But then as soon as I went into progression, <laughs> this wind just picked up and then the rain was like becoming torrential downpour. And then I was absolutely saturated. I was cold. I was just, because I was going against the wind, I just couldn't even get into pace. And it was not very fun. I had to stop a few times um, and just like stretch out my hamstrings and just, and now I'm gonna take a bath because I need to just let the muscles soak in some warm water and just recover. At the 18K mark, I was so close at just running home and just like calling it a day. But I had to remind myself that this sort of weather could happen on race day. And so if that happens, like, look, the goal goes out of, out the window, but you know, we don't quit, right? We have to persevere and push through it because if we quit, you know, that mentality sticks with you and it just gives you permission to quit on other things in life, you know, outside of running. So I think it's good practice, you know, as part of your mental toughness to persevere through times that are tough. And yeah, I really had to do that today. So <laughs> anyway, it didn't happen this week, but we'll try again next week. We into week eight, which is a deload week. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> So until then, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.